What's up, DJs? Welcome to another episode of DJ Ninja. Now, today uh, we're going to talk about airdrops and uh, ninja hacks and how to do homework on airdrops qualification. So, uh, in a previous crypto talk, I talked about um, going through past, current, and upcoming airdrop schedule. So, on the slide is a brief summary of your minimum and your maxi requirements to uh, take full advantage of airdrops in the Cosmos uh, ecosystem. So um, upcoming uh, this month and also later in April, May, there'll be a ton of airdrops. Now to stake uh, and to do liquidity pool pairing for those pairs on the slide there um, would qualify you for probably 95% of airdrops out there. Now, the tricky thing with airdrops is you, one, you don't know when the, de the developers will take the snapshots on the various blockchains. So you need to be prepared and do it ASAP. Um, now, for minimum requirement, you need 10 Adam, 10 Juno, 5 Secret, 5 Luna. And to do these um, LP pools, Atom Osmo, Luna Osmo, Luna UST or Osmo UST. Now, the incentives for doing these liquidity um, pair pools is that you also have flu super fluid staking, which means that you are compounding what you are earning in in, from your liquidity pools and your yield, and you're compounding it back into the staking pool. So you're actually earning double rewards. So that's the other incentive, regardless of whether you're getting airdrops or not. Your APR, your annual percentage returns on those pools, average from roughly 60% APR to well over 100% if you cater for the super fluid staking. So it's very uh, lucrative to get into. Now to maxi qualify for airdrops, you need the below, um, um, this uh allocation here. So 50 plus Adam, 50 plus Osmo, 20 plus Luna, 30 plus Juno, and you want a, a stash of uh, some minnow coins. So here's some like Chihuahua, Neta, and Stars. They will qualify you for extra airdrop allocations for certain um, tokens down the track, and also have the above liquidity pools that are mentioned in the minimum requirement. So to check out the airdrops, you go to these two main websites, cosmosairdrops.io for cosmos-related airdrops and terradrops.io for Terra Luna um, ecosystem airdrops. So we'll get into how we actually uh, assess and do the um, trade swap, token swaps, et cetera, and staking the various cryptos so that we can actually qualify. Now, because I've already got a partial portfolio that meets this requ uh, requirements, I only need to, I kind of just need to tweak on my allocations to the various staking pools. For you, if you're a complete newbie and you haven't started staking osmosis, you it's pretty much more straightforward for you because you know exactly how much you need to stake and how much, um, what LP pools you need to participate in to take full advantage. So these are the ones that you need to get as a minimum or to max out your airdrops allocations for most pools. So we jump right into it. We'll do a live demo of how we actually uh, go about the process. So the first thing we need to do is go to app osmosis.zone. Now, um, in the assets tab, you can see how much uh, crypto you've got. First, uh, obviously, the first step is to um, transfer some Atom or UST to from your centralized exchange, like your Binance, KuCoin, um, Gate, or something like Coinbase, to your uh, DeFi wallet. So in this case, uh, because we're working with Cosmos ecosystem blockchains, uh, you need to install a Kepler wallet. So for those that don't know 
um, how to install a Kepler wallet, uh, you just need to uh, Google um, Kepler wallet, um, Google Chrome extension download. That will set you up on Chrome browser for your desktop. And you just go to Google App Store or um, iTunes App Store, Apple App Store to download the Chrome version of Kepler wallet. So uh, you can operate from both your phone and desktop. Um, so that's your preference. Uh, phone is good to keep an eye on your portfolio uh, when you actually um, are on the go and you just want to do some quick transfers, etc. Desktop is more for your yield farming and running your staking pools. It's a lot easier to use desktop to do the transactions just because it's uh, the functions are a lot more mature and a lot more easier to use. So uh, once you've um, transferred your uh, Atom to your Cosmos address in your Kepler wallet, so basically you copy paste this address uh, into your uh, withdrawal uh, function in your um, exchange. Uh, and then you use, uh, in this case, because I'm withdrawing Atom, you um, withdraw using the Atom network. Uh, so there will be a little tiny fee involved with withdrawing that Atom to your Kepler DeFi wallet. So after that, it should show up as a balance on your Kepler wallet. And so on the Cosmos hub, if you've got Atom, it should show up in your uh, DeFi wallet here. So it shows you how much available Atom you've got and how much you've got staked. So obviously I've got um, just under five Atoms staked. So um, firstly, we need to buff up our Juno allocations because um, currently you can check on your various blockchains under your Osmosis, uh, uh, your Cosmos hub and you can find your various blockchains. So just to check out on your Juno balances, uh, you click on Juno and it just shows that I've got 11 point, or well, almost 11.3 Juno staked in the pool. And you can see that on the wallet, you can see what your staking rewards are. So it's 103.79% per year annual return for staking Juno at the moment. And this tab just shows you how much pending staking reward that has accumulated since I last reaped the uh, staking yield. So I've usually... A, it just um, accumulates on a daily basis. And so I normally just come in and claim once a day or something. So uh, let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do is go to uh, um, the bottom left corner here and connect your wallet, your Kepler wallet to Osmosis platform uh, and then um, authorize it, obviously. And then the next thing you need to do is go up to the um, top tab here, trade. So now um, what you need to do is go to assets first because your Atom is in your Kepler wallet. So you need to actually configure your uh, Cosmos IBC bridge so that you can deposit some Atom into your Osmos um, Atom blockchain address. So what you want to do is click on deposit and then it'll automatically configure you from your Cosmos to your Osmo uh, address for Atom. Now it shows your balance. Um, you want to transfer um, as much um, Atom as you can, just allowing for token swaps and coins, various coin swaps, because we have to uh, buff up our allocations for various coins like Juno, Osmo, Neta, and Stars, and possibly Marble. So I will actually um, move some of these coins into Osmosis Atom blockchain address. So I will move roughly 52 Atom into the Atom blockchain address. Now, uh, I will ask you to validate transaction. Normally, I use low fees um, because Osmosis is pretty fast. So it doesn't really matter what um, low or average or high speed. It's not like ETH DeFi where you kind of have a congestion problem and you need to pay high gas fees to um, skip the queue. So uh, a DGN hack I've got is uh, go down to this tab called Set Gas. 
and then sometimes I will was on on thirteen thousand uh, guay. I tweak it down slightly to a hundred thousand just to pay less gas fees. It's just a little trick I have. And then what happens is it will show you uh, the transactions on the blockchain now. Usually a few seconds wait. And yes, transaction is successful. It shows you a transaction is successful. And then the next thing you need to do is refresh your browser, your Chrome browser, because it doesn't quite show up right away. So it shows you that, oh, yep, 52 Adam has been successfully deposited from the IBC bridge. So that's bridged from your Kepler wallet, um, a, a wallet to straight into your osmosis network protocol. So now it shows I've got 52 Adam there in the wallet in my osmosis. So the next thing we need to do is go and do our coin swaps. So uh, the trick here now is uh, if you've already got some uh, other various coins and you want to make up to the maxi allocation uh, requirement, then you just uh, swap enough atom to that coin accounting for the exchange rate to um, make sure that you have the minimum uh, for that pool. So, um, so because we're swapping atom to Juno, so we find Juno, Okay, and it tells us the exchange rate is one atom to 1.13 Juno. Okay, so we need a total of 19 Juno. Okay, so roughly um, on exchange rate of um, 19 Juno divided by 1.13, I'm looking at roughly changing about 17 atom to to make that short for so i will put 17 atom and swap it to uh 19.21 juno and then i will click swap now the advantage of using osmosis is that there's very little um, swap fees it's only 0.3 percent and the slippage is uh next to negligent it's 0.002 percent so ask me to um, process the transaction. I click approve, that's free. And so that has done, uh, has processed after about three seconds. So now you go back to assets and you should uh, refresh your screen, refresh your browser. Uh, it should show that now I have about roughly about 30 Juno, oh well, 19.87 Juno, uh, in my DeFi um, Osmosis wallet. So what I need to do is um, withdraw that Juno um, to my Juno wallet on in Kepler. So what I'm going to have to do is click withdraw Juno, click on a maximum, and then click on draw, and then click on low fees. So that has transferred your Juno token out of your osmosis into your Juno uh, blockchain address. And next, what we do is we click on stake. And then under our favorites tab, uh, we need to firstly um, go out, down to our favorites tab on the left there, find Juno, click on Juno, and then click on stake Juno. Now, on the top right hand corner there, it shows that I've got some Juno left to claim for rewards, staking rewards. And it shows the amount of Juno staked. Now, the reason why I chose club staking is because uh, this protocol platform is running at airdrop um, in the next couple of weeks. And if you stake your crypto with them, then you qualify for club tokens. So that's why I chose them as my validator. So next thing you need to do is click on manage. And then um, click on delegate. Uh, just a, a note there, you need to actually, um, you have 28 days to unlock any Juno that you are staking with your validator if you want to withdraw your uh, Juno out. So you have to allow for about a month or roughly four weeks to withdraw that if you want to unlock that Juno from staking and use that 
crypto to convert or cash out to uh, USD stablecoin or Atom or Osmo. Uh, but for long-term purposes, it's best to just leave that they're staking because then you'll be always uh, eligible for Juno allocation airdrops. So what we do is we click on max. Uh, now that's your available balance. Usually I will just take the first test two decimal points so that I don't, um, I leave a little bit of um, Juno there for gas fees in case I need to claim um, staking rewards and uh, whether I need to vote on governance um, in the proposals to qualify for uh, future airdrops as well. Don't forget to vote. That can sometimes double your airdrops allocation. So next thing we need to do is we need to delegate. And now you need to pay a little bit of gas fees because it's Juno Network, not Osmosis. So you click on low fees, do the uh, DJ Ninja hack, click on set gas, and then just play around with it. It's 2,000, uh, uh, 250K Gwei at the moment. So just turn it down to 200K Gwei, click on approve. And once that, uh, has, that screen has disappeared and you can see that um, that, um, shortcuts and also claims all my Juno that was outstanding in my staking pool. So I don't need to do pay two lots of gas fees. So that's another DGen hack. So when you're actually trying to dis deposit a new amount into your uh, staking pool, you don't need to claim before you do that because otherwise you, you pay two lots of gas fees and uh, to do the same thing. And now you can see I've got 31.25 Juno staked in the pool at 103.8% APR. So that's annual percentage return yields. But that's uh, flexible interest rates. It can go up or down at any point in time. It could increase, it could decrease. So that's where things are at, at the moment. So we've done Juno now. Now we wanna to go to Osmo, do the same process. So click on uh, assets. We know how much, oh, we go back to the Kepler wallet here. We click on the left hand bar there. We click on osmosis and we click on stake. Okay. And then you see how much you've got. So I've got roughly 42 or 41.8 Osmo in my pool. So roughly I need another nine Osmo to make up 50 or more. Osmo in my staking pool. So I know what I need. So I go to trade, do the same process, swap Atom for Osmo. Okay, so exchange rate is now one Atom to 3.6 Osmo, which is pretty good. So we work out roughly how much um, Atom we need to um, convert uh, another nine Osmo. Okay, so nine Osmo divided by 3.6 roughly. So I need to use 2.5 Atom roughly to get just over nine Osmo worth. Um, and then I click swap, do the same process, approve the transaction. DeFi is as easy as it gets. It gets easier once you use it and practice makes perfect. It's like riding a bike. Uh, when you first hop on a bike, it looks difficult, but once you get your balancing act right and you fall off the bike a few times, it's easy peasy, eh? So that is the coin swaps done. Now you go to assets, uh, you check on your osmosis, Osmo token to see how if it's swapped over and it has, I've got nine Osmo there right now. Uh, the thing with Osmo is you don't need to withdraw it out to another um, blockchain address because you're already in Osmo and you are staking Osmo so that you can skip that step for Osmo coin. Then you come up to here, refresh your browser. It'll show you the updated balance of Osmo here on the top left hand corner. Click on to your validator where you have your Osmo staking pool. Click on manage and then click on delegate. 
and then uh, delete max out your allocation to delegate. Now you want to delegate that. Sometimes you want to leave a little bit of gas fees, etc. Um, that is usually free on osmosis though, so you don't really need to. But you sometimes you might want to just to um, vote on governance, etc. So now um, Kepler Wallet should show that I've got 50.8, almost 50.87 Osmo uh, now staked with my validator there. And now I need to, um, so that's done for Osmo pool. I've got my 50 there. Now I uh, go to my Cosmos airdrops.io website and look at upcoming airdrops and see what I, else I need to stake. So obviously, uh, things like Star, Neta, Secret, uh, uh, um, um, pools that you pools that you need to um, you know buff up to maximize your airdrops allocation. Um, so um, now we've got enough Juno and we've got enough um, Atom and we've got enough Osmo. Now we want to buff up our uh, Secret token. So. See, for this particular token here, Isuna, you want 50 secret. That's a bit high. Normally, uh, most airdrops, you, just to qualify a minimum, you only need 5 to 10 secret. Um, but to be safe, you probably want to just do that for future purposes in case you don't miss out. Secret, secret has um, a big potential for privacy blockchains in the future as well. And also there's a lot of um, good potential appreciation for the coin in the next you know, couple of years. I see big things for secret. So we will swap for secret. Okay, so the first step you wanna do is go to your Clipper wallet, go down the secret network, click on stake, just see how much um, secret you've already got. So you've got eight secret there staking away. Uh, so roughly um, to make up 50, I would need another 42. So I will go back to osmosis, click um, the uh, from atom, and then two, I will choose secret. So roughly one atom to 5.57 secret. So now um, I'll do the same maths again. So I need roughly uh, 42 secret. Divide that by 5.568, 42 divided by 5.568 and the exchange rate. I need roughly about 7.54 atom uh, just to make sure I qualify for that secret network pool. And then I click on swap. I approved the transaction to swap it. Uh, there's very minimal slippage, which is a good thing about this DEX. Um, you don't pay any swap uh, gas fees. You only pay 0.3% of it for uh, um, gas fees. So now I've done that. I'll go to my assets column again on my wallet and my osmosis just to check. And yeah, voila. So what I next need to do is withdraw using the IBC cross bridge. I click on maximum and that would norm automatically uh, withdraw my secret to my secret blockchain address. Now I'll do the same DG Ninja hack, click on low fees, set gas, um, and just click approve because it's osmosis, so it's free anyway, if you choose low fees. And that happened in one second, so that has already gone through the blockchain it's quick and fast and it's cheap and it's free so now i will refresh my browser go to my kepler wallet chrome extension and then i'll refresh my browser and here you see click on to the left tab here click on secret network click on stake and now you can see that there's my validated node there that i've delegated to i click on manage again I click on delegate. 
Oh, wait. I need to refresh this browser because I've just moved the secret to this pool. Um, and now I need to click on stake, refresh my browser, click on delegate. I should have uh, roughly 42 secret. Um, I didn't quite make it there because there was a little bit of um, slippage because it was I, I swapped quite a bit of secret. So I think the exchange rate was changing as I was doing it. So that's another thing that can happen, but the effects are minimal really. I do two decimal points for my secret network delegation, staking delegation, leave some decimals there just for gas fees and governance voting. Then I go to low fees, do my DG Ninja hack, set the gas, um, it's already at 40,000 Gwei, which is pretty low, really. Oh, we'll, we'll give it to them, eh? We'll turn it to 30,000, see what happens. That's usually just a recommended Gwei level, um, recommended by the blockchain address. But as you can see, I lowered down the Gwei and it still went through. Now I've got 49.88 secret. Hopefully in the next day or so from my Osmo staking reward, I can also transfer and swap some Osmo or some atom uh, into the secret and then just stake on top and I should make up my 50 secret in my staking pool. So the next one we want to do is go and swap some Netta. So on the Cosmos upcoming airdrops, you see that uh, requirement for Netta is over 0.2 Netta for this particular airdrop. We'll just scroll down the list, see if there's any ones that um, showing Netta. Uh, yeah, they probably are. Some probably haven't popped up yet. Sometimes, as you can see, certain um, airdrops, there's not enough information or staking requirements yet. They haven't released anything. Uh, so you don't know, but looks like STARS token and also NETA are, what, are good ones to have in your uh, Osmosis or your um, Osmos network um, staking pools just to qualify in case you forget, you know, you don't know when the snapshot is going to take place. So it's always a good idea to stake before you forget. Um, normally a good day to do your swaps is when your uh, Atom Osmosis token is strong against your minnows. Now you can see one Atom equals 0 0.044 Netta. So if we need a minimum of uh, 0.2 netta, right, we will um, use 0.2 divided by 0.044 exchange rate. That will give us the amount of atom we need to swap. Now that gives me 4.545 atom to swap to get my 0.2 netta. And then I approve that swap. Yeah, with these minnow, uh, token coins, just make the minimal uh, staking requirement because you want your majority of your holdings in solid bigger cap plays. You don't want to hold too many minnow coins because they can decimate in a bear market. So now I refresh this browser, Chrome extension browser. Then I go to our uh, Netta. And under Juno Netta, it shows I've got 0.2 of a Netta, right? So what you want to do is withdraw Netta. And then you develop, uh, accept that, um, approve that. You want to withdraw your Netta to the Net, uh, Juno Netta um, chain back to your Kepler wallet. Now click on low fees for Osmo, that's free. Repeat the process, done in two seconds. Now you want to go to your Kepler Wallet browser Chrome extension, refresh your browser, and then find, um, what was that coin, Netta. So Netta might be a sub blockchain within Juno. So, um, you might need to stake it with Juno. I don't. I haven't actually done this one before. Um, I'll figure that one out later on. But um, that is 
how you do netta so um, the next thing we want to do is um, convert some chi hua hua now the exchange rate is uh, one to about 19,000 hua hua tokens for atom I uh, just went to the airdrops page there for one of the various airdrops to qualify under the hua hua staking pool uh, you need uh, 69,420 hua hua tokens so based on that math that is roughly 3.4645 atom that you need to swap then click type in hua hua so the exchange rates dropped a little bit since um, I have swapped it but basically that's what you do um, so basically if you swapped 3.65 atom uh, you will have enough wahua in your wallet now let's see on the cosmos airdrops website what it says for wahua thing is a uh, cool cat chain here this coin here ccat the snapshot is going to be sometime between now and april 1st so we really want to do it now because um you don't know when that's going to happen so you want to um, stake your huahua today, preferably. Um, so click on 3.65 atom, swap it to huahua. So now you go back to assets and check on huahua. And you've got 69,237 huahua tokens. So it means that I might actually be shortfalled because um, of the slippage. So I might actually have to swap a little bit more than that. Um, I might have to swap another half an atom or so just to be sure because um, I'm only really holding it just for uh, tokens really. So um, uh, basically um, to qualify for 70,000 Hua hua. Um, I really only need a couple of hundred, eh? So swap 0 0.05 atom, get the 951 odd hua hua. Should make up the shortfall for the exchange rate. See how the exchange rate is dropping? I think atom is dropping in the macro market. That's probably why. But yeah, ideally you want to swap it when atom is stronger. And it was quite strong last night. Um, but yeah, just for the purposes of daytime over here in Australia, um, I don't have that luxury to do swaps in the middle of the night. So that's how it goes. Normally, if I'm not um, trying to qualify for airdrops, I'll wait till the exchange rate's good to do it. And usually it's when the um, market is deep red, your micro cap tokens will usually drop a lot against your big caps. And that's the best time to do your swaps. Okay. So that's all my Chihuahua tokens. I've got 70,000 plus now. That should be enough. I still have to work out how to stake Huahua, Neta, and uh, check tokens. I'll do some digging um, with DGENs and um, get back to you guys on how to stake those individual minnow tokens. But that's how, um, in a nutshell, how we basically stake um, the various uh, different tokens on osmosis and off osmosis into their individual blockchains. I think I haven't missed anything out today. Um, stars is another one. So let's just check how much stars we need for um, airdrops. Stars, stars, stars. Sometimes they don't tell you how much of a token you need, which is quite sly of the devs, of the developers, um, because you don't really know how much, but but like if you follow my slides and have the, um, the minimum at least for the major tokens, you can pretty much qualify. So here it says um, you need 200 stars, okay? Snapshots taken in the last couple of days actually. But um, you want to swap for stars. So stars, that's channel 75 in your Cosmosis blockchain. 
Uh, so you do some quick maths. Uh, one atom is 134 stars roughly. So basically for 200 stars to swap about 1.5 atom. Approve that transaction. Swap, swap, swap. Now you've got your stars. Now you want to go to your Kepler wallet, refresh that browser. Just check where the star, yeah, star name has got its own blockchain. So put a yellow star next to it. It will push it up to your favorites tab. Um, click on star name and click on state. This is your validators here. Firstly, we will withdraw, go to assets. Use the IBC chain again to withdraw your stars to your um, blockchain address in your uh, Kepler wallet. So you can stake it. Then you click on withdraw. And then you click on low fees, approve. That uses your uh, IBC uh, cross bridge and it will move that to the Stargaze blockchain, which is a sub blockchain that is part of the Cosmos uh, STK uh, network system of blockchains. So now you go back to your Kepler wallet, Chrome extension, refresh that browser, click on Stargaze blockchain, click on stake. Here, you've got your various um, validator nodes. We want to find some ones that have a low staking commission and also reliable. So normally we just go through the list, use a reliable um, validator. So usually the top 10 are more reliable. Cosmos Station is quite a reliable um, validator too. Um, so the top 10 is usually one I would recommend because you can see that by volume, by stacking volume, you've also got a bigger pool. So the chances are they're going to be a more reliable. So uh, as you can see, only the top 100 nodes make the list. So um, if you stake, if there's enough, and, then, and that is um, uh, ranked by the amount of uh, stars or amount of crypto tokens that are staked in your node. So the higher you jump, the higher the high stake you've got, the higher on the list you are in ranking. So um, I will just choose Cosmos Station, delegate to them. So firstly, what we need to do is, um, I'm not sure if I've done that, I have. We've drawn the stars out of my IBC address and I am on my Clipper wallet extension. Yep, I reversed. Now I've got stars in my Clipper wallet. So now I choose, say I choose Cosmos Station. Delegate my stake. Stake just the first two decimal places. Um, you want to leave a little bit for fees, etc., or just one decimal place because there's a minnow coin. Click on delegate. Because you need to leave some min, um, decimals for gas fees. Eh? Click on low fees for Stargaze. Do my DJ Ninja hack. Uh, it says 250k guay. You change it down, it'll say 200,000 guay. Um, and click approve. You don't want to be too stingy because otherwise sometimes your gas fees are too low. Uh, the miners don't do their work. The proof of stake validators don't do your do your uh, work for you. So you got to pay them enough to do it, eh? That's how it works in this world. Uh, you can pay them low, but don't pay them too low. <laughs> so that's the moral of the story. I've got 200 plus stars stacked with uh, Cosmos Station now. So click on my Chrome browser extension. This in a nutshell shows you all the Cosmos ecosystems blockchains. And if you're not sure where your stuff is, so I'll click on Stargaze and it will tell you how much uh, rewards you've got, what your stake is, and what your interest rate is on the staking yields. But that one doesn't actually show um, what that percentage is for some odd reason. I'll look into it. I'll get back to you guys as to what that is. Obviously, you want to stake there for now, just so that you are in, in for any future airdrops allocations.
So, yep, we've had a lengthy session today. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, the next thing you want to do is go to uh, Cosmos and your wallet. Um, use the uh, remaining uh, atom. Withdraw that. You want to uh, buff up your um, atom in your Cosmos uh, blockchain wallet in your Kepler. So click on low fees. Withdraw out of Osmo. So that's free. So that's done within one and a half seconds. Do the same process. Withdraw, uh, refresh your Kepler wallet browser. Now you click on Cosmos Hub. Click on stake. Now it should show you the amount of atom you've got in your wallet. Now what you want to do is um, manage that, delegate maybe all of it. Um, click on max, take some decimal points out just in case you need to move your funds out of uh, Osmos, back into Osmosis. That costs you a few fees. Uh, another thing to note is on the left tab here under stake, you can vote on your governance. So we'll go into that in a little bit of detail straight after this. So um, now you want to uh, stake your um, atom. So leave a little bit of gas. So what did we say? We needed 46 atom minimum. So we look into some of these old airdrops and just see how much atom we need in, as a minimum. So roughly 20 something over five, over 10. Um, sometimes the staking requirements are slightly higher, usually over 10. So uh, we will just stake the minimum for now. So um, got just under five atoms staked at the moment. So what we want to do is just swap 46 atom, click on low fees, do the DJ Ninja hack, to the, turn the 250k guay into 200k guay, save on a bit of gas fees, you know, we'll see if it works for 150. It might work. We'll give it a shot. Uh, because it's US uh, nighttime now, it's low peak uh, for DeFi gas traffic. So it might go through. Um, that's being cheaps, another DJ. Ninja hack, but uh, it could take a slightly longer time just because you've uh, used slightly lesser gas. Uh, usually, the recommendation is more than ample to push the gas fee, uh, the DeFi gas transaction through. Sometimes, if you you a little bit tight, that's what happens. See how it took a slightly longer than two or three seconds. It took like eight seconds to do it. But as you can see, now I'm staked with um, SG1, 50 atom. So if I, want to, if I want to change delegators, I click on manage, click on this uh, arrow here, click on re-delegate, and then select my validator. So if I want to select club staking or something, see how at the bottom here, some of them, some of the validators have been slashed and punished and they've been jailed because they are scams. Uh, usually you've got to watch them out for them because of it's like 0% commission. Sometimes they are just rug pulls. So you've got to be careful. Look at their profile, look at their track record, look at whether they are on daily, um, uh, whether their nodes are actively uh, working every day. So if you go to this list here, um, obviously there's tons to choose from because Atom is a big coin so there'll be heaps of validator nodes for it whereas uh, and there'll be pages and pages of it whereas um uh say for a smaller minnow coin like stars you you probably only just got one page of validator nodes which is um usually about only 100 um validator nodes that can be on the list at any one time so that is um atom stacked uh, so I've met the minimum requirement for uh, 50 atom plus. So now any airdrops coming up in April, from now till April, May, I will qualify for probably 99% of Cosmos airdrops.
And that is how you um, de designate your various staking pools to uh, qualify for airdrops for staking. Um, my Osmosis uh, LP providing pools, my yield farms, I have decent stakes in those. But now since I've got excess Atom that I have uh, put into Osmosis, I can channel that into my yield farms as well, just to take advantage of the super fluid staking. So um, just to talk about governance and voting. So in your Kepler wallet, Chrome extension browser, so let's say if I wanted to vote for Cosmos a governance, I click on Cosmos Hub, click on governance, and then that will show you um, like various uh, current voting proposals. And you see there's two new ones there. So I better vote on that. Usually there is a time, they usually give you about a week to vote. Uh, voting in these governance proposals qualifies you for certain airdrops, so be sure to vote on every one if you can and read up on it. This clicking into detail shows you how much um, people have voted, like in the stacking pools, um, other people, because it goes in a DAO or uh, um, decentralized autonomous um, organization system of management where uh proof of stake is proof of stake rules so stakers get a say into how to run in the day to day running off a blockchain so you read up on the uh, description of what the proposal is by the um, developers a staking proposal change to a particular pool and that uh, the spots will change in a particular pool from 150 to 175 so um, yep, just vote for it. So I vote yes. So that's how you vote. Yes, no, no veto. No veto is like a strong no. Abstain is sort of like pass. You 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 give up your vote. You don't say neither yes nor no. Um, so I click on confirm. You pay a little bit of gas fees actually for this transaction, but the DJ Ninja hat works for this as well. Click on low fees. Turn it way down. The default is 250k way. Turn it down to 150. Vote on it. Because it's not a real DeFi transaction, just voting. Don't need a lot of gas to push it through. So I voted for that one and it just says which ones you voted on. So go back and I see that there's an other um, governance thing that I haven't voted on. Um, version 7, pool 65 theta. So just a brief read of it. It's just an on-chain upgrade governance proposal. So if you vote yes, you are um, just um, agreeing with all these uh, technical upgrades. Basically, is uh, to make the blockchain network better. Um, if you don't know what the technical stuff side of coding is, usually that's what it is. Basic common sense. Click on vote. I vote yes. Make make the uh, changes and improve the blockchain. Lips. Click confirm. Do my DJ Ninja hack. 150k way. Click on approve. Yes, yeah, so it's taking a little bit longer than I expected. It took about 20 seconds uh, because I was stingy with my gas fees. <laughs> but that doesn't really matter because you're only voting for a proposal. You're not pushing any DeFi transactions. So you can be a bit low balls, but don't be too low balls because you need to pay a little bit of gas fees to the miners, to the validators, I mean. So that's it. I'm up to date with my voting. So I go to all my blockchain proposals, check on my various uh, coins to see if there's any new updates for voting. So I... I'm up to date for Osmosis. I voted. Then you go to Juno. Click on Governance. Do the same process. Uh, so there's one new one. So I better vote. Read up on it. Juno, Luper, Kalia Phase 1 upgrade. So this is a security fix, performance improvement to things in Juno Swap and the smart contract. So... That's good for the uh, blockchain size. Just vote for it. Yes. Confirm. 
I'll bring up my Juno, do my cheap hacks, DJ Ninja hack. Change that gas fee to 150,000 GUI. Click approve, use low, be low balls. Uh, but yeah, uh, usually you have to wait an ex extra five or 10 seconds of your time, which is well worth it um, if you've got the time to burn. Uh, if you're always on the go and you need things done quick, choose high gas fees. But it doesn't really, much, really make much difference on Cosmos or Osmosis because Cosmos STK blockchain has very fast processing speeds. And it's a very good interoperable um, function where it is a good hub, like a multi-port router in some ways. And it links up all the various blockchains and sub blockchains and um, it makes things so much easier to cross chain transfer using the IBC bridge and you pay like hardly any gas fees to do it as fast as efficient uh, way better than ETH at the moment at least before ETH 2.0 uh, uh, layer upgrades etc that should be coming up in the next quarter or two, depending on what the Ethereum Foundation is up to. Uh, but you never know because it's a big project um, to upgrade chart chains and, and update the consensus layer and the execution layer and going from that um, layer one to layer two. So that is pretty much what I've got for you guys today. So basically for uh, voting and governance, you click on all the coins that you stake and you vote, mate. You always vote now. Didn't know that you had to vote before, but that's a DJ thing to do. Uh, once you do some research behind airdrops, you know you have to vote. And that is an incentive of DAO's governance where they reward you for taking part and having an active say in, in the day-to-day -day running of blockchains and crypto. So that's all from me in the headquarters here, DJ Ninja. I hope the content has been helpful for you guys. And please like, uh, share, and subscribe if you find this DeFi um, tutorial helpful. Uh, and that will go a long way to supporting the channel and um, boosting the algos for my channel and obviously the SEO O's for it. So um, that's all from me. May Satoshi be with you guys. Have a great week, everyone. Uh, please leave me a um, comment down below or message me if you guys have any problems or any queries as to how to do all this DeFi, uh, token swaps, staking pools, liquidity pools providing, etc. Any questions, just leave me a comment down below. So that's all from me, guys. Peace out. Adiós.